everybody. So today we got a 2023 Chixer 1000 in. A lot of blessings piling up that I ain't even wished for. No, left over for y'all. I'm locking the fridge door at the crib, cutting hits. I ran through the catalog, came to conclusion. No one's now. This one is 100% stock. Same thing, like we're gonna do, just like the other videos. We have a stock exhaust. We have a stock air filter. We have a uh, a stock chain and sprocket kit on this bike. It's 100% stock. So we're gonna see what kind of numbers the brand new Jixers are putting out. All right. We're gonna do a few baseline pulls here. We're gonna get the average. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna see what they're looking like. And then uh, once we do that, we have a full M4 uh, Street Slayer titanium exhaust actually that's gonna be going on this bike. And, uh, and then we'll re-baseline it and then we'll do the full dyno tuning and ECU flashing, that whole process as well, okay? So you'll get to see the different levels as to what you'll get whenever you go through this process of getting an exhaust and a, and a tune and whatnot. <laughs> finally got off this stock exhaust system. It was a monstrous can. I mean, look how big this freaking thing is. This is a beast. Look at that, holy crap. This thing is massive. So we're taking this off and we're gonna go ahead and put on a much more sleek uh, M4 Street Slayer with a carbon canister and it's a full titanium exhaust. I mean, this, this can by itself is probably gonna weigh what that whole exhaust system is. Um, and in fact, what we're getting ready to do is we're actually gonna weigh it all out so we'll get a comparison with stock versus the full M4 system. So you'll see how much weight savings that, uh, or how much weight you'll actually be saving when you swap over to these exhaust systems. So really curious to see what this is. Um, we're gonna pull the scale out right now and we're gonna weigh it all. We're gonna weigh the can, we're gonna weigh the cables, and then we'll weigh the, uh, the stock header with the cat in it as well. So we have the stock header right here. Let's see, actually, let's see if we can get this on. There we go. 15.8 pounds, 15.8. And then the stock muffler, we're at 7.2 pounds. So we got 23 pounds total right now. So we're at 23 pounds, right? 7.2, 15.8, 22, 23. So we're at 23 pounds total combined weight with just these two items. Uh, yeah, we are missing the uh, servo motor, uh, which is up here. We still need to remove this. Um, that's another about one to two pounds up in there as well. So uh, we'll actually pull those out and we'll weigh that. Um, we'll weigh that real quick. So here's the little servo. This is the exhaust servo, or they call it sometimes the uh, X-up valve. Um, it's just a little butterfly system that's in the exhaust. So whenever you're swapping exhaust systems, like whenever you're removing the stock exhaust and you're going into a, uh, a full aftermarket exhaust, a lot of times, or even the slip-ons, um, a lot of times you have to remove the cables and remove um, the, the mechanism, the actual butterfly itself. You have to remove those out of the stock exhaust. Um, we're flashing this particular ECU. So what we're gonna do is delete all the codes out of this. This will trip a light when you uh, unplug these. You either need a servo buddy or you need to flash the ECU in order to delete the code out so you don't have uh, a check engine light whenever uh, you're removing these systems. So uh, we're gonna weigh this out. So this weighs in a little over half a pound. So we're at 0.6 there. So 23.6 pounds worth of total weight that um, we are taking off right now. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna weigh this M4 system. Once we assemble it, we'll weigh the M4 system and we'll get a total uh, combined weight as far as what it's gonna be. We'll split the difference and then we'll see how much uh, total weight savings you're gonna get uh, going to the M4 Street Slayer titanium system. Finally got the brand new uh, M4 Street Slayer titanium exhaust installed, and this thing is beautiful. It looks killer. 
We left all the fairings off just so you guys can get a really good visual on this thing. We just got done wiping it all down. We're gonna go ahead and fire it up here in just a second so we can get a sound check on it and uh, make sure we're good to go so that we can hit the dyno and start tuning on this bad boy. Finally got this 2023 Gixxer 1000R back on the dyno with the full titanium Street Slayer system uh, from M4. This thing looks wicked. I am loving it. Now, we did uh, start it up. We did idle it a little bit, so we got a little bit of heat in it. You can kind of see a little bit of color starting right here on the welds, but and it's turning a little bit of gold. I don't know if you could see it in the camera, but it's starting to gold over a little bit. But as we run this thing on the dyno and we heat it up and we get this exhaust nice and hot, we got the fans blowing on it, so it's gonna cool it right back down. It's actually gonna go ahead and, and uh, turn this thing colors uh, fairly quickly. Here goes another shot of the exhaust up in here. This thing is beautiful. I love it. Carbon can, it looks killer. I love it, love it, love it. I love M4 product. They do a good job. Um, so anyway, as we burn this thing in on the dyno, we're gonna see a lot of the colors start to come in on the header and then a little bit here on the mid pipe. We're gonna see a lot of that uh, on this dyno session already. And we're gonna make sure that it burns in nice and smooth. The transitions look good, the colors look good. So it's almost kind of like artwork, honestly. Uh, again, it's one of my favorite things to do when we're doing exhaust systems is to have it burn in nice and clean on the dyno. We're gonna re-baseline the bike now. The only modification that we did on this bike was this full exhaust. There's no air filter in there. Uh, there's no velocity stacks. There's no air box mods. There's nothing like that. It is strictly just the exhaust. Um, Actually, I take that back. We did modify slightly the stock air filter. Uh, this client did not purchase the, uh, normally we recommend the Sprints or DNA air filters. Um, this client did not opt to do that. We kind of modified his stock uh, air filter just because. He's done a few projects with us in the past, so we figured we'd just throw that in for him, you know, just because. Um, anyway, uh, we're gonna baseline it. And uh, we already have the stock baseline. We're gonna show those graphs also at the end here. We're gonna compare the uh, completely stock exhaust and then, uh, and then we'll show the uh, M4 with the uh, slightly modified stock air filter. And then we're gonna do a full ECU flash and dyno tune. And then we'll actually get the final numbers up here on the, on the screen. And uh, again, we'll analyze the numbers for you guys so you can see exactly what you're gonna get whenever you go through with a system like this with a proper tune. just finished doing the new baseline on the 2023 Gixxer 1000. Uh, currently, we are flashing a map into it right now. It's a uh, base map that I have that I'm gonna throw in here and see, uh, see how much changes we can make. But here are the numbers so far. 
So here is the stock baseline, which is the red line. And then the, uh, the new one is with the M4 exhaust installed. Now we had massive gains right here in the mid at uh, 9,000 RPM. We picked up 17 wheel horsepower from swapping the exhaust. Uh, that's pretty, pretty monumental, honestly. It's a lot more than what I was expecting. Uh, and then up top here, even though we still have the restriction, we still picked up a good seven wheel horsepower and a good three foot pounds of torque. So uh, air fuel is also, let's check that out real quick. So air fuel is not too bad at the high RPM, but as we're shutting the throttle blades down, it goes pretty lean here at 14.7, 14.8 um, air fuel. Uh, here's not too bad. This is pretty rich. Yeah, that's pretty rich. That's, that's, so in other words, we have a lot of excess fuel that we don't really need. That's kind of bogging the bike. And then down here, it's pretty lean at 14.9 to 15.0. The, these air fuels, so when it does this, when it goes real lean and then it comes close and it goes lean and it gets rich, when it does that, as you're experienced that on the bike, it, you're not gonna feel necessarily the bike kind of like, whoa, whoa. You're not gonna feel that uh, feeling, if you will, that, that roller coaster, but it's gonna make for a really choppy ride because it's going lean and then it goes rich. So it's like kind of like leaning out, it runs out of fuel, then there's too much fuel, so it's bogging out. It just, it's a, the power band sucks. It's a really crappy ride. Let's just put it that way. Um, that's a really, really crappy ride. Even though we gained power, it's still not gonna be like a fun power band, if you will, because it's gonna be so choppy. Once you apply that load and the ram air and all that jazz, it's gonna get even choppier. So the bike's just not gonna feel the best out on the street. Uh, again, once we flash it and once we tune this thing and we get it all dialed in, it's gonna be a completely different story. This thing is gonna feel just incredible. Uh, I'm really excited about these gains already. So I'm really curious to see what else we can pull out of this bike. ECU is now done flashing. So uh, we're gonna keep on going. We finally got this 2023 Gixxer 1000 all wrapped up and look at these pipes. Look how beautiful they're burning in. I'll get a light up in here. They look gorgeous. This is why I love breaking them in on the dyno. Look at that. Look at that. Freaking beautiful. Let's go on the other side real quick. I wanna look, the other side actually came out really good. This is why I love these titanium exhausts, these aftermarket ones. They always burn in just so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, look at those colors. And yeah, the blues, the purples, the golds, they just... If you guys can afford to swing the titanium, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Look at that transition, that blue, purple, and the gold. It is, it is so pretty. I hope it's coming out on the screen as good as we can see it here because it's, it's gorgeous. So, and then look up underneath here too. Let's see if we can get it. And this one's kind of hard to get, but. Anyways, beautiful exhaust, beautiful, beautiful outcome. Like I said, I'm a big fan of M4 products. So here are the final numbers. We started with 155 wheel horsepower. We got it up to 155 installing the M4 exhaust, the Street Slayer exhaust. And the final numbers are 181 and almost 81 foot pounds of torque, which, you know, all in all, it's not horrible. It's not the best that we've done. But again, reminder, this is just a full exhaust and a modified stock air filter. There's no velocity stacks. Uh, there's no air box mods. It's a stock air filter still, uh, stock chain and sprocket still. There's quite a few things that we could be doing to this bike to add a little bit more power. And if you go and you check out some of our earlier videos, we do have a, uh, a 2020 and a 2021 Gixxer 1000 that we modified with stacks, uh, where we modified the stacks and an air filter, chain and sprocket, and a full exhaust. And we were closer to about 187 to the wheel with pump gas. So this falls in line with right about what I would expect for uh, the type of mods that this bike has. So just keep that in your mind, okay? Um, and again, so we'll look at top end real quick. Here's 13K that we targeted. So it was at 147 when it was stock and we're all the way up to 181. 
you know so again we're at almost we're at 30 what is that 34 34 wheel gains that's <laughs> still pretty massive gains when you uh when you compare how the bike rode in now the blue line is the m4 exhaust installed so if you compare that we are at 154 to 181 so we're still picking up what 27 wheel uh we still picked up 27 wheel horsepower which is still very 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 impressive again for um just basically a flash and tune and an exhaust so then if you compare it to stock we picked up what 10 11 12 13 14 so we picked up 14 foot pounds compared to uh stock which is still very very impressive numbers uh very good gains all in all again this guy should be thrilled with this uh with this horsepower and this torque it's uh it's very smooth if you actually look at the power band it's a very linear power band. Let's take off the old graphs here. We have a very, very, very linear power band. I mean, it doesn't get much straighter than that. This is gonna be a very fun bike to ride. Kept it a very conservative air fuel, but look, we're basically flatlining the whole pool. So uh, very clean AFRs, very smooth transition. Again, this bike is just gonna be very enjoyable to ride. So thank you again for watching. We really appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving us. Um, we still have quite a few more bikes that we're about to, we're about to drop. Uh, I'm about to put up this 2022 ZX14R that we did a full Brox on. That video is gonna drop soon as well. Uh, we're finishing up that bike later today slash tomorrow. We're gonna get on the dyno tonight and uh, at least get it strapped down and prepped for tomorrow. We're gonna tune it tomorrow. Uh, so then we're gonna get those numbers out too. And uh, we got a few more project bikes that are in the works right now too. We got my ZX10R that we're working on. We got that thing stripped down and uh, we're gonna keep working on that. We actually have a 2018 Jixxon 1000 that's gonna be here very soon that we're gonna be making a video on uh, where we do a few other mods too that we go a little bit more into the motor with. So keep watching guys. Again, we appreciate you. If you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It would uh, mean the world to us. We really appreciate that. We, again, we appreciate the support and uh, we'll see you on another episode.